Come get it. It's right here. You're not even gonna eat? There you go. Here. Go on, little dog. What's up, everybody? Hope everybody's uh, handling the Tom Hanks disease well. Maybe you want to come say hi to everybody, and that everybody can hear me. That would be good too. I better check that. Hold on. Give me a second. What's up, everybody? Okay, it's working. Good deal. Maeve, watch out. Are you still, are you dropping blueberries everywhere? Look, come here. <laughs> Look, do you see yourself up there? You want that? All right, see you later. All right, guys, I hope everyone's having a great week and uh, I know it's been pretty uh, emotionally exhausting for me so um, and I don't know just uh, it's weird it's been a weird time for me so can you not mess with the microphone this this time Maeve please so I thought it might be fun to do a little Q&A type thing you guys can ask me anything it doesn't have to be bird related we can talk about whatever you want um, of course, all the chats and uh, super chats and Streamlab stuff. Uh, check the description for links to the Streamlabs donations because those are better. You'll still pop up on the screen whenever you send a message, <clears throat> but um, it doesn't take a percentage or as big of a percentage as YouTube does. What are you doing? Look, she like she's like a little cat when you pick her up. She's like all slinky. But, um, but yeah, hopefully this is early enough for everybody, all of our friends over overseas and all that kind of stuff. So, I know that most of you guys are probably stuck at home, much like I am. So, trying to do more of these streams, but, you know, I don't know, it's just, uh, I need to, I need to do more video normal videos as well and I have ideas for them of course but I can't really go out and like look for stuff for ideas anymore because usually I'll just go I'll go to like a I don't know some place that has toys or you know food or something like that and just walk through and see what would be interesting to incorporate into a video so we can't do that now but let's wait for everyone to get in here uh, Beatrix is back in the other room in her enclosure I don't know we'll probably let her out later but she's still she gets really nervous especially when we're doing streams because I'm talking constantly and not only that but all the birds are kinda out doing their thing and it's probably just uh, makes her a little nervous or a little more nervous than usual excuse me and she's usually pretty nervous to begin with so but uh... look what I found I went to the store earlier Maeve, what are you doing? It's a Dr. Pepper cream soda mix or something. I wanted to try it out.
pretty good. Anyways, we have a healthy dosage of blueberries. And, um, oh, someone, so, hey, you turn it, look, she knows how to open it. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> 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 ah. Don't worry, guys, I don't have the Tom Hanks disease as far as I know. That is pure pollen right there. I had to go out earlier and get groceries. So, um, yeah, I got a nice inhalation of uh, pollen there. Uh, Beatrix is good. She's, uh, she hasn't really improved that much, unfortunately, but she's getting there. You can have blueberries, maybe, if you want. People will probably appreciate if you stay in frame, though. Is that okay with you? We got something on Streamlabs a second ago. I need to go check it. I have to log in and everything. She did. I don't know if you guys can see that on my thumb there, but Beatrix did get me pretty good the other day. I don't know if it'll focus in or not. Let's see. Uh, you can kind of see it. But she got me. She's still very bitey. And it is not a lot of fun, usually. So, I'm trying to log in here to Streamlabs so I can read comments. Um... Give me a sec. Would you like a blueberry, Maeve? Here. Okay. Goldfish. Hello again, Goldfish. Oh, let me turn my brightness up here so I can actually see what it says. Um, goldfish says good. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, Goldfish. Thank you for joining us again. Uh, Daniel F. For, oh god, F4000 <laughs> sent $200 already. Daniel, man, you are. Uh, I didn't expect the stream to start off that way, <laughs> but that's really lifted my spirit, so thank you. And um, obviously, it's, it's going to go towards uh, moving and all that good stuff that we talked about last time. But he says, let's start the stream right. Got paid today, so he, here's. Here's some for starting the stream right, and I'm challenging someone to go higher in one single donation. Love you guys. Daniel, love you too, man. Thank you so much. It's incredibly generous of you. Um, I know it's, and especially now when it's just so difficult with everybody and with what's going on, most people have to stay home. It's, it's kind of questionable how they're getting paid and working and things like that, so... It really does mean a lot that you guys still believe enough in me, and of course, like, we're trying to move but who knows how long this stuff is going to even go on for at this point you know so um geez i haven't seen another person really well i guess i saw people at the grocery store but i don't really count that but i don't really talk to anybody one-on-one -on -one or you know personally and i guess if you count talking to i talked to one of my friends on the phone for quite a while the other night like for three or four hours but but he's all the way down south, and uh, I'm trying to think of the last time I saw somebody, like, where we hung out. It must have been my sister a couple weeks ago. I went over to her, I went over to her house, and that's the last person I really saw. I can't believe it's been that long, but that's kind of, that's crazy. Oh, well, my friend, yeah, my friend Corey came over too, I think at some point, maybe a couple days after that. But it's been a couple weeks. Which sucks. But, um, let's continue on. Not everyone let, what, how is everyone's social distancing going? I know that Louisiana here is on, what's it called, sh shelter at home? So, are you guys on that too? Or, like, how is that going for everybody? Maybe, can you come over here and come hang out with us? People want to see you. She's, like, wrestling with the plush toucans over there. Okay, let's move through the chat here um sunflower 468 said have you started searching for a new place in dallas to move into once the quarantine is over 
Um, I've looked, but I don't know what's going to be my price range and what I can afford quite yet. So, and right now we can't do anything because it's, I was going to take Maeve to Dallas to the vet actually, but now I don't think it's, I don't, I don't even know if they're open at this point. So, so I have not been to Dallas in a while, but I am looking, I think there's some reasonable places outside of Dallas for you know, somewhere around $100,000 or somewhere around there. I'm trying to keep it relatively reasonable as far as price goes. So, you know, I want something that we can, I can feel comfortable staying in, but also adding on to and things like that where it's not going to be, um, feel like it's one of those things where I'm investing in something I don't want, I don't want to be at, which is where, I, you know, the situ situation I'm in now, so... Uh, let's see here. Have, oh wait, I just, oh wait, he sent that twice. Sunflower sent the same thing twice, I think. I don't know if that's a bug here or if that actually happened, but thank you, Sunflower, for the comment and the donation. Um, let's see what else. Avivix, hopefully I'm saying that right, says, what's your favorite non fasted bird species? Hmm. Maybe the harpy eagle? I really like, I like birds of prey a lot, and the harpy eagle is probably my favorite one, so I would say not including toucans, birds of prey, like the harp, definitely the harpy eagle is one of my favorites. So, uh, what else? Man, everyone's driving around out there. Um, I really, I like hyacinth macaws a lot. Um, I, I always, I did like macaws a lot as a kid, and I still do, but, you know, nothing, nothing outshadows the toucans for me, obviously, but I, I would, I would probably say the harpy eagle. I'm trying to move the microphone closer here, just in case you guys can't hear me. Okay. I'm maybe he's gonna try to play with it now. Uh, goldfish again, it says, talk to the birds if you want to talk to someone. Well, you know, that only goes so far because the birds don't exactly talk back. <laughs> Look at Maeve there. <laughs> what are you doing, silly? Oh, here you go. But thank you, Goldfish. And then we have Bodil. It says, much love from Denmark to you and the birds. Thank you, Bodil. Hopefully I am saying your name right. I know I say that for like every name here, but... Okay, and we are caught up for now, so I'm going to try to move on to some of the other, some of the other comments here, um, some of the just normal ones. And we had, we had like 700, I don't know if you guys were here the other day, but we had like seven, 800 people in here, so I'm hoping maybe we can get the stream up really high today, but it might be... Hopefully it's not too early for everybody. We'll probably do a stream for a couple hours, maybe. Ow. Probably uh, fix the camera here a bit. Maybe gained a lot of weight lately. I know I, got, I have a hole in my pants back here, so nobody make fun of me. <laughs> I probably should have put some different, like some jeans or something on, but they're all dirty because they, you know, went outside the house, and uh, I don't want to risk getting the Tom Hanks disease, so they're in the dirty clothes. Or not the dirty clothes, but they're actually inside the washing machine right now. Maeve, what are you doing? Come up here and get this. Come get it.
I'm going to put this here. Let's see if she comes and gets it again. Oh, here she comes. <laughs> She's kind of cute sometimes. Uh, yeah, I'm in Louisiana, and apparently we have the we have the fastest growing cases for the Tom Hanks disease in the world right now. I'm gonna say Tom Hanks disease because uh, the other words I think get flagged on YouTube, so by the algorithm, and possibly demonetized. I don't know about that, but that's what I've heard lately. So I'm not entirely sure, but we're gonna say Tom Hanks disease. Okay. Beatrix is not here. She is, uh, she's, well, she's in that back of the room in her enclosure. I don't have her out right now. Because Maeve, Maeve is too afraid to come over here whenever Beatrix is out. Hey, can you chill? We'll let her out a little bit later, though. Look, you can't, you can't try to get blueberries and then just drop it on the floor. You gotta eat it. There you go. Oh boy. Give Tupac a blueberry. He just ate a whole big lunch, but I will give him a blueberry. There you go, buddy. Yeah, YouTube is sensitive to Tom Hanks disease. Um, aren't I worried about the male and female birds mating? No, not at all. They're hard enough to breed as is, let alone mixed species. And, uh, and inside a house is not, it's just, there's like zero chance of that happening. Yeah, Beatrix is in her office right now. <laughs> She's currently stri uh, making strategies to attack Maeve later. But they've actually, they haven't fought or anything lately, so they've actually been pretty good there. <laughs> Um, Mad Mars says, Brock, do you enjoy doing outdoorsy things like hiking, kayaking, climbing, etc.? Um, I do enjoy hiking most of the time. It just kind of depends on... What are you doing? Don't, don't piss Tupac off, okay? Uh, I enjoy hiking more than anything else. Like, kayaking and climbing is a little... Probably a little... You want me to pet you? Okay. Oh, God. It's a, probably a little too uh, exhausting for me because I have some heart conditions that really... It, uh, stuff like that that's like over... What's the word I'm looking for? I don't know. I guess just more exhausting, you know, is uh, harder for me to do and especially harder for me to enjoy. But I do like hiking and... Like, as a kid, I would freaking hike around everywhere looking for lizards and birds and whatever else I could possibly find. So, I have a fair bit of experience doing that. Even if I was confined to the, you know, couple miles around where my house was, um, I enjoyed doing that as a kid. And I do now when I have somebody that I can do, do it with. I don't like doing things alone. There you go, buddy. Um, what's my real name? Brock. <laughs> That's my real name. What do I do for a living? This. <laughs> Can two cans eat eggs? Yes, they do eat eggs. They very much like eggs. Um, I feed them. Occasionally I'll give them scrambled eggs or hard boiled eggs or something. Uh, here in the house. But in the wild they will raid other birds nests and take their eggs out and eat them. So... They naturally consume eggs pretty regularly, but they don't get eggs regularly here. They get them scrambled sometimes. If I make scrambled eggs for myself, I'll make some for them as well and give it to them, and they like it a lot. So, Am I going to get a fourth toucan? Probably, but I have to move first because I can't handle the that any more toucans here. Like I don't have the space for all that, so. Um, 
Okay. Do I Minecraft? Uh, I used to play Minecraft in its alpha stages, like, a long time ago. Like, years ago. I haven't played Minecraft in... God, it's gotta be maybe five years. Maybe more, actually. But I did used to play it a lot. But this was back when it was first made. And, uh played a lot with some of my friends, and then, I don't know, we just kind of fell out of it, so. Can toucans eat dark meat? Toucans, well, they eat all kinds of meat in the wild. Um, here, I don't, well, I'm trying to think of an instance where, I don't see any reason why they wouldn't be able to have dark meat. They may not like it as much as the white meat. But I haven't tried it. But I don't see any reason why they wouldn't be able to eat it. The The problem is in, like, captivity, you want to give them as little, especially raw meat, as possible. So if I give them any kind of meat, it... Uh, if I give them any kind of meat, it's going to be cooked, for sure. Um, in the wild, they'll eat whole animals, so, I mean, they can't eat all kinds of meat, but that isn't necessary, and it's also dangerous in captivity, so. Can toucans eat sugar cookies? I mean, in theory they could, but that's not good at all for them, at all. I love seeing my liquor collection, along with the birds. Um, wait, oh, what happened there to that question? What's my favorite liquor? Uh, probably whiskey. Either like a scotch whiskey or a bourbon of some sort. If I mix drinks, it's usually a bourbon. But I like to uh, do cocktails and stuff, you know, as a hobby on occasion. Especially if I have a friend over or something like that. So, um, the collection I have is strictly for mixing together usually, but I will, I'll drink scotch or something from time to time too. I don't know why Maeve insists on sitting on that side of the couch when we're filming, but she does. Has Maeve been in the sunlight any? Yes, she has. To our, not today, but this past week. I took her outside. I'm trying to get them to get as much sunlight as they possibly can. Um, one of the many reasons I'm trying to move, so. Okay, we're actually getting super chats now, so let's check them out. Um, Steve, 67, sent 4 dollars He says, what kind of, what kind of toucan would you like to get after you move? You know, I've been thinking about this, and I think I want to get another Toco toucan as a baby, just so... People can have an idea of what a normal toucan acts like, Sim similar to Maeve, but, you know, obviously Toco toucans are a lot bigger. So I, I'm kind of leaning towards getting another, like, captive bred, uh, hand-fed Toco toucan as a baby. Uh, probably another female like Ripley was, but I don't know what the future holds. That's what I'd like to do, I think. I think it's really beneficial for people to be able to see what they act act like and behave normally like because right now all we have is Maeve and um Maeve is a little Maeve's a little more laid back than what a Toko toucan would be like so I don't know why she insists on being over there but unless something pops up where it's another rescue that needs help that's my current plan but you never know what the future holds as far as that goes I wouldn't mind having a channel build toucan or a Swainson's toucan also but I think that uh, I think Toko toucans are probably the easiest to teach people with because they're of their size, and uh, I don't know they're just really stunning to look at. They're very attention grabbing. All right, let's move on. My favorite singer of any genre. Singer, just like not band, but singer. I don't know. Uh, I 
have a lot of favorite singers. I would say maybe Robert Plant or Brad Delp or Lou Graham or Kevin Cronin. I all really like. I think they all have amazing voices. Those are all classic rock singers, of course. Um, as far as like modern music goes, I'm not sure. I don't know if I have a preference really. I think I can appreciate just about any style of music, but that's normally my preference. Uh, Lindsay Wachlin, hopefully I'm saying that right, um, says, Thank you, Rock, for everything you do for the birds. And thank you, Lindsay, for the encouragement and for sending in the super chat, because that keeps me going for sure. Can I make a fruit review with the toucans? Uh, we just did a fruit review of dragon fruit. What does an average toucan cost? Uh, I, I mean, if you want an Arisari, which is like a mini toucan, you know, around maybe 2,000 or so. But maybe well, two to 4,000 if you include the curl crested Arisaris. You want a big toucan, like a Toco toucan, or like a Red Bill toucan, you're looking at ten to 12,000. So um, the Arisaris are easier to breed and generally easier to come by, but the big toucans like I work with are extremely expensive. So, but thankfully like Tupac was donated to me and then uh, Beatrix, I got it a greatly discounted price, which is still, was still a little much for me regardless, but you know, you guys were here to help cover that cost, which was very beneficial. So, uh, either way, don't get a toucan as a pet. I don't recommend them as pets at all. What are you guys doing? He doesn't want you, Maeve. I'm sorry. Let's move on down the comments here. Dear Toucan Dad, am I pretty? It's from Kyler Freeland. I have no idea. <laughs> but thank you for the super chat. Uh, Wendy sent six ninety nine with no comment. Thank you, Wendy. Uh, Andy Z again. What's up, Andy? Says, what would you name a new toco? I don't know. I'd probably get suggestions from you guys, but... Um, I haven't really thought about it yet. Maybe Ahsoka or something. Oh, maybe it's taking a bath. I don't know if you guys see her back there. Oh, right over there. See her? Let's see what else we got here. Do I prefer female toucans over males? I know I have. You, I know you have Tupac, but you seem to keep leaning towards females. I've always leaned towards female animals my entire life. I don't know why, but you know I love Tupac. Obviously, he's probably. I don't know. I probably have a closer bond with him than any other bird here. But um, usually, I lean towards female animals. I don't know. I think I like female names more and just stuff like that. And, and I don't know. I don't know why I do. That's it's a good question. I've thought about it a few times, and I really can't give an answer. Maybe I'm just used to. I grew up with two sisters and my mom, and uh, maybe I'm just used to living with women now. <laughs> Charlie says Maeve's laid back. Ha ha. And hold on, this stupid chat went away, or the thing like dropped down suddenly. I think it said something like, oh, man, can I find that again? Oh, here it is. She seems like she's permanently got energy drinks for her bloodstream. Well, she's not laid back in that way. She's laid back in the, in the sense that she's friendly to just about anybody that comes here. She's not uh, automatically hostile or... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Suspicious or anything like that of new people. She's friendly to just about anybody. And she's generally not aggressive. Uh, I haven't had any issues with her trying to bite me yet. But of course that could change. 
but like with Ripley, and even with Tupac, Tupac's really cautious of new people when they come around. He doesn't recognize them, and he will bite if you're not careful. So, with Ripley, Ripley was much the same way. She would get into moods and stuff like that and start biting for no reason at all. And I think it's important to show that side of Toucans. And it's hard to do that when, like, with Tupac, he's, he's not well. And he probably will never act or behave like a normal toucan as far as that goes. So, he's not a good control group to show people. Uh, let's see. Madmar says, Toucan Dad, what do banana nose birds dream about? I'm going to guess blueberries. I have no idea. But thank you for the super chat. <laughs> Let's see. Um, I think we're caught up here. Let me refresh the Streamlabs page here. Having fun back there, Maeve? Uh, Nicole18 sent a dollar ninety nine. Thank you, Nicole. Hopefully, I'm saying that right. Uh, a Vivix. Hopefully I'm saying that right this time, because they sent they sent a clarification on how it's pronounced. Uh, but they said, if you were a bird, what specific species would you be? Not necessarily your favorite, but the one that you would say reflects you the most. Uh, that's a good question. I would have to probably say a toucan, if I could choose. I think I think that reflects... They were, I mean, our personalities mesh really well. Like, I'm a little ADD and stuff like they are and, and like to be up and moving around. And, you know, it's like having my brain stimulated, you know, constantly. So I can relate to them a lot. And that's probably why I lean towards having them because I can kind of empathize with their personalities and relate to them. And... Um, I think the same thing goes for like people I would choose to be around as well. So, but yeah, I think I think a toucan would be like that. They would say that's your spirit animal. I think, <laughs> or that's my spirit animal. What Inkling Scout says? What are your favorite bird memes? Uh, usually the funny ones. I don't know. I'm not big into the bird memes as far as that goes. I'll see them every now and then, but. Okay, I think we're caught up now. Oh, Kyler Freeland says, do you, do your birds have any irrational fears? Usually it's a one-time irrational fear, and then it goes away. Uh, they don't like change. They don't like when things change around in the room, so I try to keep things as similar as possible. Maeve used to be like really afraid of this perch right here for some reason. Like she wouldn't land on it, and if I tried to put her near it, she would just instantly fly away. But she's gotten over that, obviously. Uh, Rainbow Six Moments Potato Aim a, sent four ninety nine and says I'm back. Hello again. Welcome back. Okay. I think we're caught up on all that now. Maybe we could actually, uh, we could probably, this is the goal for this month, and we're not going to do another stream until April 1st, which is my birthday. So, when is that? Is that Wednesday? Next Wednesday? I think it is. Maybe it's making a huge mess back there. Splashing water all over the freaking place. Oh crap. 
Why do people keep freaking calling me? I need to mute my phone. Hold on. Uh, okay. But the good news is I think we're caught up on everything. Okay. We need a channel build toucan. A YouTube channel build toucan. That's what we need. Channel, I know, I think, uh, I think Maeve's breeder actually has channel build toucans. I'm not sure which variant channel build toucans they have, though. If it's the aerial or just the normal channel bills. Because there's two different subspecies that look a lot different from each other. What's my morning routine like with the birds? Well, usually I wake up because I can hear Maeve making her yelping bark noise from all the way across the house at like 8 in the wait, probably 7 in the morning, 8 in the morning, somewhere around there is around when she wakes up and decides to do that. And then Tupac sleeps back in my room with me. Oh, excuse me. Uh, so I will get up and go get all the bowls of fruit out of the fridge and then head into the room with all the enclosures and I'll feed Maeve and Beatrix um, usually papaya and blueberries to start off with but right now it is cantaloupe and blueberries and then I uh, make sure their water's good and clean Make sure the food's topped off, or the dry food's topped off. And I'll go back in my room and I'll give Tupac the same food, but in his little bowl back there. And then I'll sit back there and wait for him to finish eating. Or sometimes I'll grab him and we'll come out here. And then I'll put his bowls down up here and he'll go eat down there. It just kind of depends on how tired I am. Um, how lazy I'm wanting to be. And, um, what else? Once Maeve and, once Maeve's done eating, I usually let her out. And, uh, Tupac's always out. And then Beatrix I'll let out a little bit later in the day. But I've been, I've been alternate, alternating days with her because I don't want her to get overwhelmed, uh, being out right now. So I usually will let her out every other day. Uh, that's about it. I mean... I just make sure they don't get into trouble and all that. Excuse me. Sorry, guys. I didn't get a whole lot of sleep last night. Um, and then Maeve takes a bath usually around afternoon, evening. Okay. So, yeah. And then I, I keep their food and water refilled and populated throughout the day. So they always have access to it. And then I watch them and make sure they don't get into trouble. And then sometimes uh, in the afternoons I'll go outside with Tupac and Maeve. Like out on the porch for an hour or so. So I don't know. It just kind of, it really depends on the day. But the day always starts out with giving them food and attention. So... Uh, I just saw a new one. Oh. Lindsay, Lindsay Wakelin uh, asks, do I have a P.O. box to send the birds gifts? No, I do not. Because P.O. boxes cost quite a lot. And um, right now I'm focused on other things. So eventually we will get a P.O. box, but right now is not that time. Hey, Maeve. Maudlin sent two dollars and says May for the Maeve cleanup squad. Uh, yeah, I need to buy. I probably need to go take a towel and wipe up the water off the floor before it warps the wood or something. How many times do I feed them? Mm, it depends. I usually so what people usually do and teach with two cans is to give them like basically one big meal in the morning of fruit. And then, or, yeah, one big serving of fruit in the morning, 
and then one big serving of fruit in the evening. But what I found for my for my situation at least works better, and this is only because I'm with them all day and can monitor when they have food because most people are just going to leave them alone for the majority of the day and go to work or do what else or you know if the, it's at a zoo they're not going to be going in and out of the enclosure every five seconds because they have hundreds of other animals to take care of but for me what i've found works the best is to give them smaller meals multiple times a day uh and just kind of keep replenishing the fruit as it as they eat it so and it seems to me that they waste less fruit when you give them less of it at a time and then also they have a constant access to fresh fruit throughout the day and it's not just sitting there and attracting ants or whatever else so but mainly i don't want them dropping it on the floor all the time and um wasting it especially right now so I've found that that minimizes that. Um, it's not practical for most people because most people aren't at home all day with the birds like I am. But that's what I've found works best. So I, I give them a fresh supply of food daily. And fresh, well, a constant fresh supply of fruit, pellets, and water uh, at all times of the day. And usually I'll have to change out, like, that bath back there that Mae was just in, like, two or three times a day. So they have, out here, they have one big water bowl back there that you just saw Maeve bathe in. And then there's another one down here that's a little bit smaller that's mainly just for Tupac. And then I have their food bowls that are, like, communal, so they can go down there and eat whenever they please. But, uh, that's about it. How long do toucans live? Um, it's not entirely certain, but it's somewhere between 20 to 30 years on average. It kind of just depends, though, because in captivity they're a little more uh, just different, difficult, I guess. Not a, people don't always care for them well, and they can have birth defects and things like that that cause them to live less time or maybe the breeder neglected something i don't know so you know it's it's kind of up in the air as far as that goes in captivity with toucans because there's just not a whole lot known about them unfortunately so but tupac is about to turn 17 in a few months so he's getting up there What else do we got here? Does Beatrix get aggressive with the other two? Um, somewhat. She, I mean, she definitely was aggressive to Maeve at first, but that's, that's settled down quite a bit now, and she doesn't, they don't really attack each other anymore. Sometimes they'll, like, Maeve will come up to her and they'll, she'll chase her off, but that's about all that happens now. So, um, what am I trying to say? I don't think that's as much of a problem anymore, that's what I'm trying to say. Alright, what else do we have? Sorry, I'm trying to get to everyone's comments here. This is why, uh... Super chats come in handy because there's just so many comments going on all the time. What else? Do I just have female toucans? No. Tupac's a boy. Let's see. I uh, see some of my mods are answering, answering questions for me now, which is helpful. <laughs> Was Ripley my first bird, or did I have other species of birds? No, I had four birds before Ripley. I had budgies as a kid. I had three budgies. And then as a teenager, I had a collared arisari. And then I uh, took a break from birds for how long? 
maybe eight eight years, seven seven years, maybe. No, no, not not quite that long. Four or five years. Ah, oh, man, I can't even think of the timeline because I'm like trying to think of when I had that colored Arisari. The colored Arisari, and this is why I mentioned what I did earlier. When I got her, she had an infection in her feet that was like I tried everything I could possibly do to get her help, and nobody seemed to know what was going on with her and she had this like she had it when i got her from the breeder so she died like two months later after i spent the entire summer saving up actually not even just the summer it was like two summers working and saving up for this bird because it was very expensive especially for a you know teenage guy and I, I was like probably 16 at the time and that was my first real hands-on experience with a toucan and um and the breeder really dropped the ball and nobody seemed to know what was going on with her they thought it was bumblefoot or something at first but it wasn't bumblefoot i don't know i don't know what it is even to this day i don't know what it was but eventually it did her in and um the breeder gave me my money back thankfully but it was pretty devastating to me at the time so you know I took a break for quite a few years until I had my own house and uh, a steady career, and I knew that I could take care of like a big toucan on my own, and that's when I got Ripley. So, so I had yeah, I had four birds before Ripley. Uh, the budgies lived their whole life, you know, with me as a as a kid. I got them in like third grade, I think. So. What else do we have here? Um, Mad Mars asks, how do their large beaks balance out with the rest of their body? Um, well, their, their beaks are very lightweight. It doesn't contribute much to their actual overall weight. You want a blueberry? Even though they're like a third of the length of their entire body, they're probably hardly even a fraction of their actual body weight. So it's it's made up of like spongy tissue and keratin, and it's just it's not very heavy at all. It's not even remotely heavy, actually. <laughs> all right, Maeve, help your help yourself. Matt, wait, is this no wait? Oh, I'm getting lost here. Okay, here we go. Uh, Cole Bennett asks, I have to ask, are they potty trained? My green cheek conure poops everywhere. They aren't potty trained. Uh, now, Tupac doesn't really poop anywhere but his little area right here. But Maeve, like, they develop habits over time where they poop in specific places and you just kind of learn to anticipate those places and put pads there or whatever else. But... She seems to like to poop right behind the couch right here on this perch. And uh, I just clean it up. It's not really that big of a deal to me. I don't, I don't know if toucans can really be potty trained to the same extent. Well, they, they probably can be, but it would be way more difficult because their attention span is just not existent compared to other birds. So they do have, they definitely have the ability to hold their poop in and they have an instinct not to poop where they roost i guess or sleep because like tupac will not and ripley would do this too ripley would not poop on the couch at all and, or on me and but mave mave doesn't have that courtesy she poops on the couch sometimes and I, that's why i have those wipes back there because i clean it up with them but um oh crap the air just kicked on uh, let me try to turn it off real quick. I don't want it to... I don't want to be able to hear it in the microphone. But yeah, I just kind of anticipate where they're going to be now and it'd go from there, you know? So... It's not that big of a deal to me, but... Maybe when I move, I'll start setting up specific places for them to go instead of here. So, 
The problem is, and the problem I'm really facing right now, is my house here is just not set up for what I'm doing. You know? Like, well, I want to completely redesign everything whenever I, I move. Like, for instance, where all the enclosures are, I need to have, like, tile or resin or epoxy or something on the floor and pr preferably on the walls as well so that I can easily clean the fruit that they just shake and splash everywhere. Um, it's especially bad. Like, you have to almost at some point you just give up or want to give up at least because it just, you wipe it all, you spend like an hour wiping it all down and then the next day it's all completely back. So, if you were a person that wasn't like me and didn't do this for a living, it would become, inc it would become quickly frustrating and you would probably just give up on trying to clean it up. But for me, you know, I have, I spend most of my time taking care of them. So, uh, I do that, but you know, that's another reason why they're not the best pets is they're just very, 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 very messy. And it's not that they're like more or less messy than a parrot necessarily. It's just that the, what they eat isn't pellets and, you know, seed or whatever. So it's just shells dropping down. It's fruit. So they shake their beak and it gets all over the walls and their poop splashes and it's just... <sighs> it can get frustrating. So, you know, I, I, I need a place where I can design something specifically to easily be able to clean up all that stuff with, with minimal hassle and frustration on my part. So. All right, what else do we have here? Uh, Mad Mars again says, funding the Tupac Scritch crew. I will give Tupac a Scritch if he wants one. You want one, buddy? All right, he's not into it right now. All right, I'm sorry. No blueberry? Okay. Okay, let's move on here. Man, I'm like talking, like makes me out of breath sometimes. It's really sad. <laughs> uh, Dana King says, God bless you for all that you do for your sweet cans. Uh, thank you. I hope I'm saying your name right. Dina? Is that right? But thank you so much for that and the kind words. Like the, That kind of stuff really means a lot to me and it helps keep me going. So thank you. Try to get caught, caught up. Well, let me make sure Streamlabs doesn't have anything here. Ooh, sorry, guys. Man, I'm not usually this. I don't usually yawn this much. Okay, we're good on Streamlabs. Okay. Can I feed them carrots? I've I've fed them carrots before. Uh, Tupac seems to maybe like them, but Maeve doesn't. I don't know. There was some talk of possibly replacing a good bit of the fruit in their diet with beans and vegetables to help cut the sugar down. But I haven't heard anything more about that lately. Um, and they're not doing research on it. Until, well, I don't know if they're going to be doing it at all now with everything going on. But they're supposed to be doing some sort of research on toucan a more proper toucan diet sometime this summer but i'm not sure if it's going to happen or not now we'll see some of the people at emerald forest bird gardens um which they they helped develop the missouri diet as well which is you know completely essential when you have a toucan in captivity but they're working on, I think, updating the Missouri pellet and uh, possibly reworking some of the recommended fruits and stuff for their diet to try to cut down on sugar. Because the main issue with toucans now isn't iron storage disease like everyone's afraid of. It's actually diabetes. So, Because, like, you guys got to think that the fruit... The fruit that we eat 
is not bread. It's bread for, or made for flavor, and therefore usually has a lot more sugar than what a wild fig or, you know, something like that might have that toucans would usually eat in the wild. And it's not going to be high in sugar like fruit is here in uh, domestic territory, I guess. Domestic fruits. Wild fruit's not, it's not as sugary, is what I'm trying to say. How did I come up with the name Tupac? Uh, it is a pun on the rapper Tupac Shakur. And, uh, you know, he's from the West Coast. And Tupac is from the West Coast. Both Tupacs. I think T Tupac Shakur might have actually been born in New York. And then he moved to the West Coast. I'm not sure about that. I could be wrong. But Tupac the bird is named after Tupac the rapper. And it's just kind of a pun. Uh, let's see. Do toucans eat hamsters? I'm sh if there is a hamster around, I'm sure they would, but, you know, I do not, I do not feed them hamsters, no. Does Tupac love watermelon? He does actually really like watermelon. I need to maybe get him another one soon. Who doesn't love watermelons, though? They're good. Ooh, did you guys hear that? That didn't sound good. Ooh. That can't be good at all. How about peas? Uh, I have given them peas, but it's been, it's been a couple months. Um, I think I remember Tupac possibly liking them. It's easier to get them to eat it if you're eating it too. They want to do what you're doing, basically, so. Try getting cages with slide-out catch trays. Uh, I have cages with catch trays. That doesn't do any good with a toucan. They, the fruit splashes completely horizontally. It's not like it... I don't know how to explain it. I have to go take a picture of the surrounding area around the cage, but it's not... Uh, the catches don't do any good at all, unfortunately. I wish they did. They probably they probably help a little bit, but not, not to the extent they would with a parrot or another bird that's not eating fruit and splashing fruit all over the place. Trying to okay, here we go. People keep asking how much do two cans cost? It's uh, it's variable. It's between depends on the type. If you want an Arisari, they're a lot cheaper. If you want a big two can like this, they're like you know ten grand, twelve grand, fifteen grand. So don't get it, but don't get a two can as a pet, guys. I'm not I'm not recommending two cans as a pet. I'm glad they're expensive because it discourages people from getting them. But, uh, you know, unfortunately, like in Beatrix's case, that doesn't always stop people from buying them. And then they end up with severe health and behavioral issues like she does, which sucks. Maeve, do you want this? Hey. You want this? You can come get it? Come on. Where is Beatrix? She is back in her room where Maeve and she and Maeve usually live. I might let her out later. I'm not sure. If we, I'll tell you what. If we can reach our goal today, because today's the last day to do it, I'll let her out. Sound like a plan? What do you guys think? I need to make sure that I'm not missing any chats here. 
I'm getting some on GoFundMe, but they aren't. They don't have any messages or anything. So. We're good. We're good on super chats right now. I'll try to read some of the normal comments. Hold on a second. I need to get back to the live chat. Why is my bird named Tupac? There's a rapper named Tupac. Uh, yeah, he's named after the rapper, like I explained a second ago. Can toucans eat blackberries? They can eat blackberries, but I'm not sure if they will. Well, I guess I've never tried. I've tried raspberries, and they didn't seem to like raspberries, but I'm, I don't think I've tried blackberries, actually. Do I plan to get more bananas in the future? Uh, yes. If I can move, I will get more toucans when I have more space. Right now, that's the main goal is to uh, move so we can do that. Because I just don't have the ability to house any more here. Do I have a baby toucan? Mave is still a baby. Mave is this the little one over here that keeps bouncing in and out of frame. Do I like blueberries? Yeah, I do. They're pretty good. Um, I should try giving them star fruit. I was kind of thinking that too. Maybe next time I go into town, and if they have any, I will try to get some star fruit, and we'll do a video with it. I need to maybe turn the exposure down here. On the camera. Because it is very bright out. see it was like the light was washing my face out earlier so that looks a lot better okay diamond t sent a dollar 99 and it just says two cans thank you diamond uh t w z r r p r z was i don't i'm gonna i'm gonna guess that's not supposed to be a word or a name but they sent 9.99 and said release the kraken I'm, I'm assuming that is in reference to Beatrix. We will release her if we can. Um, I do need to add the YouTube Super Chats to the, to the total goal, though. I might be able to do that right now, actually. Yeah, I think I can... I think I can update it from here. Let's see. All right, I'm, I'm updating it real quick. Hold on, guys. Oh, 
Oh, there we go. Good deal. Mad Mars is funny in the Kraken handling crew. Are we going to call Beatrix the, the Kraken now? <laughs> Does the video look granny to you guys? It looks fine to me on the stream that I'm looking at. I'm watching the stream as I'm doing it. Wait, let me, let me double check. Yeah, it looks fine to me. Uh, Maeve looks itchy. Uh, Maeve, Maeve took a bath a few minutes ago and is still preening and cleaning her feathers. So that's why she's preening constantly still. <laughs> she keeps jumping over to the window. I kind of want to close the window and see if she stops going over there. Why do you keep going over there, huh? Come here. Look, do you want this cap off this bottle here? Look. There you go. Oh, it's like Christmas now. Look at that. Very happy. They're easily entertained with toys. If it makes noise in their beak, they like it. <laughs> Why don't you show everyone your toy? Look, turn around here. There you go. <laughs> how many toucans do I have? Three. And how old are they? Uh, Tupac is 16. Ma or Maeve. I keep saying, I keep wanting to say Matrix now because I mix Maeve and Beatrix up all the time. Maeve is almost one. She'll be one in May. Like early-ish May. Or maybe May 20th. I'll have to double check it later. But Maeve is almost one. And Beatrix is probably around two. I'm not entirely sure, but I'm going to say that she is probably two. Ooh, excuse me. Sorry, guys. Do the birds ever groom me? Uh, Maeve, Maeve preens my hair sometimes, but they don't, toucans aren't really big on preening themselves as much as other birds are. She's having fun with that cap though. Mame is very content with her bottle cap, yes. The red matches her beak. She does seem to like red. Red and purple are her colors. Come over here. Oh, she's having a lot of fun with that thing right now. Having fun? Can't believe she hasn't dropped it yet. Zach Antilla says, <laughs> here's some funds to release the Kraken. Thank you. We will release the Kraken. We're, gonna, we're getting towards that goal. We're going to try to hit it today. But this is just a general goal per month for moving. So if we don't hit it today, that's not, that's not the end of the world. But it would be nice if we could. Where did I get the Jurassic Park Jeep? Was it a custom job? Uh, I don't have a Jurassic Park Jeep. I have a, uh, uh, I have an Explorer, which is what they used for the tour vehicles in the movie, and I made it. So it's, uh, well, I had, I mean, a professional person like, or a professional automotive paint place like painted the car, and then, but you know, we had to lay the stencils down and stuff for the stripes but for the most part aside from stuff like that that I couldn't do myself uh, I made it so that was a normal Ford Explorer when I got it and I cut it up and 
put a bunch of stuff on it, and now it looks like it does. Tammy Palin sent $5 and says, enjoy watching you and your birds. Burbs, excuse me, not birds. Thank you, Tammy. Maeve, what are you doing? She dropped her, her cap. Uh, how did you, how did you get your birds to get along after you got Beatrix? Well, uh, Beatrix and Maeve were not friends at all at first. They wanted to kill each other really badly. But, uh, I put them, if you watch the video I did on them first meeting, I put a divider in between their enclosures and put some plexiglass in between it so that they couldn't potentially hurt each other. And over time, they just kind of got used to being around each other. Now they don't try to attack each other. So I don't know. I guess they just got used to being around each other. I don't know. It's it's really weird. I, I didn't expect it to happen, honestly. But uh, now they can all be out without anybody trying to kill the other one, which is good. So... And yes, my car is very easy to find in parking places. Although right now it is covered in pollen because I cannot wash it due to what's going on. I usually go to like a, one of those uh, self-serve car washes with the power washers, you know. Because my driveway is rocks and I don't want to make rocks fling up and hit the paint or anything. Or especially not mud too. So, but I can't wash it now because... Everything's closed, and also it probably wouldn't be wise to go do that right now anyway, so. Can you, uh, Maeve, uh, are Tupac and Maeve good friends? Uh, Tupac and Maeve like each other, from what I can tell. They, usually at night, Maeve will come sit over really close to him, like between us, when they start getting sleepy, and Tupac doesn't mind her being there. He doesn't try to hurt her or anything. So I'm assuming that Tupac probably likes her. She's not so bad, huh? You want down or what? What are you trying to do? You want more blueberries? Is that what? If you guys want me to give Tupac a blueberry from you, let me know in the super chat. Or Maeve, anybody. Anybody you guys want. To give a blueberry to just specify here you want one Maeve okay, would you stop dropping them you're gonna get ants everywhere we don't want ants here this is a house what are you doing do I think the birds actually know their names you know I think they do because uh, when I was watching Westworld, and if somebody says Maeve, Maeve will actually, like, look over to where the uh, sound's coming from. So she doesn't always respond to me, but I think she does know her name, or at least knows that there's some association between Maeve and herself. Or the word Maeve and herself. Will Tupac ever be able to fly again? No, he will not be able to fly again, unfortunately. He will never be a normal toucan, and he never has been a normal toucan according to what the vet told me. So he's been very similar to how he is now his entire life. But he's special just the way he is. I'm going to get some wipes real quick and clean poop up. Or maybe steps in it or something. Don't step in poop, man. Oh, you've got water everywhere over here. I need to go get a towel. Get a towel. Get a towel out of the bathroom. Hold on. You are a messy bird. You have no respect for wood or anything. change her 
water out in this thing too real quick. Oh, okay. Get some poop in your bath water? That's disgusting. I'm gonna have to wash that in the dishwasher. We'll get another. Time while that fills up, we're gonna clean up poo poo while well, Maeve plays in the water over there. And then when I'm done here, we'll get caught up on chats. So now's your chance to send in chats so that when I sit back down, we can read them. other places now too. We're back now. Let's get caught up on our chats here. Uh, la 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 la. What did I miss? I can't remember where I stopped here. Oh, here we go. Oh, man. Uh, Av Avivix? Avivix? Sent $3 again. And he says, or they say, I promise this is my last one. LOL. I drew fan art of Tupac on a donation sign telling people to donate to support the birds. Let's check it out. It's an Imgur link. Can you guys see it? There it is. Thank you so much for the fan art. 
we need to find a way to make it easier for them to find that link. Um, but thank you, uh, Vivix, if I'm saying your name right. I think I am this time. Uh, Kyler Freeland says Krakens like blueberries too. Yes, they do. And we will give the Kraken some blueberries. when Maeve, what are you doing? She keeps getting into planners and stuff. Okay. Mad Mars, again, says funding for Chaotic Toucans. Thank you. We need all the funding we can get for the chaos around here. Um, and stamps are... Or, man, I can't speak today. I'm sorry, guys. This is like my worst stream so far because <laughs> I can't speak. Like my brain is just like turned off lately. Here. Do you not want that? What is wrong with you? Uh, Sam Star says blueberry blueberries for krakens or bust. Oh, well, hopefully we can. If we, like I said, guys, if we can reach the goal, I will go get Beatrix. I wasn't gonna let her out today because today was her day off. But I'll go get her for a little bit if we can get there. I'm trying to look at the thing up here. Um, what's up? What else? Kate Smith says, tell T Tupac he's a good boy and give him a blueberry for me. Okay. We will do that. Tupac, you're a good boy. I know you know that. And that is from Kate Smith. And he gobbled that right up. This one's from me, though. Here you go. Are you hungry? You want more? You do, don't you? Good catch. <laughs> One more. Okay, we just got another chat. It's from Hell's Bells. Satan's coming for you. All right, I'm sorry. That's my best Brian Johnson impression, guys. Or, yeah, was it Brian Johnson, that song? Yeah, it was. Uh, but they say you are amazing and a gift. Thank you so much, Hell's Bells. Sorry for the terrible ACDC rendition. Please forgive me, everybody. Here. I never claimed to be a vocalist, especially not with a raspy voice. What kind of birds are they? These birds are toucans. Tupac is very chill. Yes, he is. Um, the app was an hour behind? How was it an hour behind? Oh, maybe the stream was... Was it a stream behind or something? The camera went dark. Is it dark right now? The stream's not dark, is it? Let's see. Uh, let me... No, we're good. Okay, I just wanted to check. But Maeve is definitely going to poop again in the next few minutes. Don't worry about that. She will, I mean, she will most certainly poop. How did I decide their names? Um, well, Tupac is named after the rapper. Like I said, Maeve is named after a character in Westworld that I liked. And uh, Beatrix is named after Uma Thurman's character in Kill Bill because her name is, well, her species is a Kill Bill toucan. So I just thought it would be appropriate. Maeve is, Maeve is being crazy today. I need to, like, move the camera over so you guys can see what she's doing.
What is this? A leaf? Is this a leaf? Why do you want the leaf? What is this about? Okay. Let's see if we can find her a toy. Look, here's a little toucan. You want this? There you go. And she threw it on the floor already. <laughs> um, Bombardi Ants sent twenty two ninety nine and says, I never know what to say when I do super chats, but enjoy the money. <laughs> you can just ask a question or just have a comment in general about the channel or the birds. You know, uh, you know it doesn't matter. But thank you so much for the donation. It really does mean a lot. Uh, Larka89 sent $2 and asks, Do I have a P.O. box for fan mail? I do not. As uh, I explained this a little earlier, but P.O. boxes cost like hundreds of dollars a year. At least at my post office it did. That's what they told me. And um, I just felt the money was better spent trying to uh, continue to fix this place up so I can sell it. And then also... Uh, if I move this year, the P.O. box isn't going to be worth anything anyway, because I'll be somewhere else. So, uh, I want to get a P.O. box, but I don't know when that's going to happen exactly, because the buddy would be better spent at other places right now than just having a P.O. box. But we will get one eventually. Where's the red cap? Can I give it to Tupac? Uh, Tupac, I don't know if Tupac will like it. He generally doesn't like playing with stuff. But we, we can try. Give me a sec. I need another drink. You want this, buddy? You want to play with it? Maybe he does want to play with it. Alright, have fun. Knock yourself out. Did you drop it already? Why'd you do that? You want to try it again? No oh, crap. Maeve wants it now. Maybe it's going to get it if you don't play with it. Are you happy? Does that make you happy? What toucan doesn't love bottle caps? <laughs> How about a snake? You want the snake? Maybe wants a snake, don't you, Maeve? There you go. Oh, yeah, Maeve loves trying to murder those little rubber snakes. <laughs> All right, have fun, Maeve. Let's try to get caught up on the chats here. Holly King says, best of luck with your goal of rescuing toucans. Uh, like what you're doing. Maeve is like a toddler on crack. Yeah, that, that she is. She is constantly on crack. But, in my opinion, it makes it entertaining. So, she, she see, she likes that snake. I don't know why she likes that snake so much, but she does. It's very stretchy, that's probably why. She likes to see how she's stepping on it. Maybe I should do another snake video. I got a whole bunch of little rubber snakes and lizards and stuff. Like I got this centipede here the other day. 
I might do a video with. And then what else? Um, <laughs> you know, I got this one thing before the whole uh, Tom Hanks disease. <laughs> it's a rubber bat. Um, toucans have been known to eat bats in the wild, so I was like, oh, we'll get a rubber bat. Maybe she might like to play with that. Now it's uh, it's a little topical. And then we have a uh, spider, a little tarantula. She seems to like this too because she can pull on the legs, you know. And a little rubber mouse. Again, can pull on the pull on the tail, pull on the little feet. She likes doing that kind of thing. And then I have a lot of little rubber snakes. So. Those seem to be Maeve's favorite type of toys, is the little, the, the stuff that looks like little animals, like the lizards and snakes and stuff, and little mice. And these little cheap cat toys. You have to be a little creative when buying toucan toys. Like, these aren't really, these are made for babies, I think, to, like, chew on or something, or just, they're just general kids' toys, but... And she really likes them, so you have to kind of keep your mind open a little bit. And then, like, these little hair tie things. She likes these. Anything that kind of stretches a little bit. And then I have this. She kind of likes this. It's like a squirrel. It's actually a dog toy. She likes playing with that, too. Even though it's like almost as big as she is. <laughs> how how did I used to make a living? Uh, I used to do freelance video production and social media marketing and stuff like that for a different uh, group of people, and I took those skills that I learned throughout all that and now I, I do it with two cans for myself so I, I pretty much still do the same thing I used to do but now you know I'm, I'm doing it for strictly myself and the birds obviously so one of the reasons I've been lucky enough to have the success here that I have is because I understand how you know YouTube and social media work and marketing and stuff like that so but it's been very helpful to get everything started with the with the birds so hopefully it will continue to expand but only time will tell do I ever do meet and greets uh, not really not yet at least um, I don't know if there would be enough people to necessitate one, like enough of our fans, because um, we have a pretty decent viewer base here, but, you know, there, you guys are spread out all over the world, so if I did a meet and greet type of thing, it would be in maybe a big city like, oh, excuse me, Dallas, possibly. I mean, that's where I want to move to, so I could do more there, but, you know, excuse me, I gotta sneeze. <coughs> <coughs> Oh, excuse me. Okay. So in the future, I could see that happening. But uh, right now, it's just not really practical to do, you know. What else? Do you still want blueberries? Is that what you're doing? Come try to, let's see if you can figure out how to get in there. Here you go. Have fun. Spend some, try, some, bleh, spend some time working on that and see if you can get inside. Okay, he already gave up. Alright then. Let's put the cat back on this bottle here. Oh, boy. Um... Is it possible to train toucans for tricks and stuff? Sort of. Uh, 
I mean, they can be trained, but the reliability of that training is questionable because of they just don't have the attention span like other animals do. So, I mean, yeah, you could probably train them, but they're probably not going to perform when you want them to. They're going to do it when they feel like it or when they're in the mood. It's probably a little easier to train them because they eat more and have more energy, uh, like, to start off with. But, you know, as time goes on, if you want them to perform it, like, they had two cans at the Animal Actor Show and stuff like that. And, um, what was it? Uh, Disney or Universal? And they, I, they took them out, or they at least, like greatly diminished what they did because that they just don't do it reliably unfortunately so oh man what else do we got here did you just bring a blueberry over here and drop it on the ground is that what you just did you being serious right now hey stop that Stop making a mess. Um, Bombardi Ants, again, says, Okay, I've got some questions. What will you name the next bird if you get one? Do two cans of yawn, and is Maeve the youngest? Uh, I got some answers for you. What will I name the next bird? I don't know. Uh, I was thinking maybe Ahsoka, if it's a Toko Toucan, but I'm not sure. We'll see. Do two cans of yawn? Yes, they do. And is Maeve, and you did spell that right, Maeve is the youngest. Yes, she is. She is not even a year old yet. Are you wanting down? Okay, there you go. Okay, um, I'm a flamingo is asking, great to, or says, great to see you and the birds again. I'm curious about Beatrix. Does she have any favorite toys or does she ever let you pet her yet? Um, as far as I know, she doesn't have any favorite toys because she's not really playful when she's out. Um, she's still, man, she's a handful, to be honest with you. It, it stresses me out having her, having her out still because, uh, I don't know what she's going to fly into and hurt herself and she just needs a lot of supervision and caution when she's out. And uh, she's definitely not anywhere near letting me pet her or anything like that yet. She's still very much afraid of me. And she seems to have warmed up to Maeve. But she seems very afraid of me. And I'm, I don't know to what extent. Maybe she has had bad experiences with people and I don't know. But, you know, it's, it's going to take some serious time for her to warm up to being around me and everyone else properly to where she's behaving like Maeve. She's still, when she's out, she still only just sits on this perch here, and she doesn't really want to venture anywhere further. Sometimes she'll try to jump up to the cabinets or something like that, but she'll slide off, and she's just not very coordinated or very skilled as far as her flying and hopping goes, and it's just not, it's not fun for her to be out, and it scares her a lot. So she still needs a lot of work, and she still can't fly. She just kind of well she can kind of fly but it's like a she just goes straight into whatever she's flying at she can't really get any lift off it's just like straight across wherever she's wanting to go so am i fully stocked with fruit and coke <laughs> uh coca-cola yeah not the other coke though um, I mean, I have like a 12 pack of Coke and then I've gotten a couple of cantaloupes and like several bags of frozen blueberries. I bought a little more fruit than I usually do, but I usually buy frozen blueberries several bags at a time. And then, um, I got two, two cantaloupes this past time. So, uh, we're stocked up, I think for the next, we should be good for the next couple weeks week or two maybe and then uh, you can't really like hoard f melons like you might want to like I can't find papaya anywhere which sucks so I'm 
using cantaloupe now. But you can't really, uh, it doesn't keep for as long as uh, what a frozen blueberry might. I guess I could freeze the cantaloupe, but uh, it would be easier just to, just to um, buy cantaloupes or have someone bring me a cantaloupe as I need it. And then I still have one dragon fruit left that I'll probably cut up for Maeve later this week. So, um, we're being a little more conservative with fruit, and we have stockpiled a little bit of fruit, but I'm not going overboard with all that kind of stuff. So. What you doing? You sure are friendly lately. Are you getting hormonal? Her beak is getting super red on her lower mandible. Like, it's the first time I've ever seen any red on the lower part of her beak. She's getting so old, aren't you? Aren't you getting so old? I wish you guys could see her head right now. She's just, like, laying it down. Let me scratch it. Let me move this over a little bit. Can I pet you? You're cuddly right now, aren't you? There you are. Can you guys hear? She's gained a lot of weight in the past month, too. Are you starting to look like a big toucan now? Are you going to be as big as Tupac? Probably not. You're probably still going to be a little run, aren't you? Maybe bigger than Beatrix, though. We'll see. Right, good job. Oh, crap. Did that scare you? Come get the squirrel. Don't want it? Okay. Let's get Tupac back up here. Stop looking at my butt, guys. Come on. Um, little Jonathorn uh, says a music effect on two can two cans, and asks if I will collab with Bird Tricks. Mu you know, I don't know about music. They don't dance like parrot. Like you know, parrots will dance to music and stuff like that, and they have a sense of rhythm. Two cans don't seem to have anything like that. Um, but if I'm playing my guitar or playing music, Maeve will want to be in the room when I'm doing it. So I'm not sure if she's just responding to loud noises or if she's responding to music. But they usually want to be around whatever's playing the music when it's happening. I just don't know if it's based on, uh, that music itself or the audio, like the audio level. I don't know. It's, I, I just don't know, to be honest with you. Um... Uh, collabor uh, I've been talking to Jamie Lee about collaborating, but the problem is they live, like, they live a really far away from me. They live, like, I think in Utah, maybe? And that's, it's, it's like a good 30-hour drive for me. So, and then they don't travel with Rocco anymore. Rocco is their toucan. And obviously we have to have some sort of toucan involved in the video. And, um, you know... So, and I don't, I don't really have, uh, well, I guess maybe we could do it down here, but they don't, you know, they travel and, and do their stuff. They do uh, shows and stuff, I think, and that's not really something I do. And uh, they, just, they just travel a lot more than I do. And their, play, their actual house is just, like, there's no way I could drive up there with, I could maybe fly up there with Tupac, but... You know, it would just, it would be a lot, a lot of effort. I, I definitely want to do it, don't get me wrong, but we might have to wait until I move to Dallas later this year to actually do a proper, like <laughs> a Maeve, a proper collaboration. So, we'll see. I'm trying, I'm trying to collaborate with them. I want to, but it's, the logistics of it are difficult right now. You want this? You got to open it. Learn how to open it. Uh, Four Leaf Clover says, 
Brock, if you wouldn't mind messaging me on Patreon, I wanted to discuss a larger one-time donation, but Patreon only really does monthlies. I was hoping to cover like some specific that any of them might need. Um, send me a... Did you, if you sent me a message on Patreon, let me see. Let me check and see if there's a message from you. Can you, if you send me a message on Patreon and clarify who you are in the message so I can answer it. Uh, I, I forget that Patreon even has a messaging function, to be honest with you, but we can talk about that. But just make sure you specify uh, that you are Four Leaf Clover from the stream. Uh, if your name is different on there than it is here. And I will message you back as soon as I can. Having fun with the squirrel now, Maeve? The only way to freeze melon is flash freezing where the freezer needs to be negative 25 degrees. Yeah, I, I don't have a flash freezer, unfortunately, but I did learn recently that there's a blueberry farm very close to where I live. So once all this virus or Tom Hanks disease stuff blows over, uh, maybe we can take Tupac and Maeve or something to the blueberry farm and have them pick out their own blueberries off the bush and stuff. I think that would be kind of fun. But maybe I can buy bulk uh, frozen blueberries from them or something. I don't know. I really need to like make some friends with some, some farmers or something. Some uh, produce people. <laughs> You're like, hey, can I, can I buy some papaya and blueberries in bulk from you? Like, get a, I need a big, I mean, I need a big freezer. My plan when I move, I couldn't fit one here. There's just not enough space. But when I move, I'll get a big, deep freezer and have extra fruit and stuff in there for occasions such as these where it's questionable whether I'll be able to have any or not. Is there a certain temperature the room has to be for two cans? No. Toucans are actually pretty hardy to all temperatures. They can survive, like, very, very low temperatures, like very cold temperatures, all the way up to very hot temperatures because of their ability to regulate their temperature with their beak. Uh, they seem to be more hardy than other birds when it comes to low and high temperatures, outdoors at least. So uh, I usually keep it in here around 68 or 70, somewhere between 68 to 72, depending on time of year so and then the humidity is already really high here anyway because it's Louisiana so that that's definitely beneficial for toucans for sure so it's it's like a normal room temperature it doesn't need to be any specific temperature like a reptile because they're warm-blooded unlike reptiles who are uh, exotherms They can, they can regulate their temperature pretty easily. I need to go uh, fix the thing real quick. Did the camera die? It did, didn't it? Yep. All right, give me a second. I will fix it. put this battery on the charger. I need to figure out if there's an external power thing where I can just plug it into the wall on this camera. Thank 
doing? You gonna take another bath? Seriously, gonna take another bath? What are you doing? You want more? She's like trying to fight the water. What do you think about that water? She's like, get that water out of my personal space. See what I missed in the meantime. <laughs> Tom Hanks disease. Yes, Tom Hanks disease. That's what we're calling it here. Sorry, guys. Sorry for the screen going off. Um,. I'm in a t-shirt at 68. I usually I usually wear a tank top. So is that a 68 considered cold? <laughs> Mavis part dolphin, yes, yeah, she does love water. Toucans do love water. I don't know why. Uh, Ripley, Ripley loved water too. Beatrix is not out. I will let her out if we reach the goal here. I wasn't going to let her out today because today's her day off and I don't want to overwhelm her, but I will. I'll let her out for a bit if we can reach the goal. Um, I need to uh, get caught up on the chats here. Probably need to update the bar too, to include the YouTube chats. Um, trying to find out where the last place I was. Oh, here we go. Oh, it was the message about Patreon. That's right. Um, Kate Smith is asking, how do they know not to eat the bottle caps? Um, I'm just assuming they just know it's not food. They know when things aren't food. I mean, it doesn't probably taste bad, first of all, but also it's hard, so, uh, you know. Oh, hello there. You want to read the messages with me? No? Okay. They, I mean, they're smart, but it's not, I mean, birds are, in general, are very smart, and uh, toucans are no exception, you know. They're probably as smart as a cockatoo or any other parrot like that. Maybe not quite as smart as an African gray, but somewhere around in that general area. And they can they can definitely tell what is and isn't food. Uh, the problem that a lot of people run into with toucans is they tend to want to sample things in the wild. And when they sample things, they could pot, well, in captivity when they sample things, it could get them in trouble because things in a household aren't the same as like sampling things in the wild. So, you know, they can be eating tacks or nails or anything crazy like that that is laying around. And I tend to specifically make sure that there's nothing like that out. She's like sitting on my foot down here. For some reason lately, she's been sitting on my foot a lot. <laughs> but, yeah, they can definitely tell what is and isn't food is what I'm trying to say. I guess through taste and sight. And you can tell if something's plastic and isn't something they want to eat. Okay. Let's keep going up through the chats here. Zipratic sent one euro. I believe that's what it is, but no comment. And Deborah Jacobs sent $10, also with no comment. But thank you, guys. Uh, feel free to leave a comment. Again, if you're maybe sticking her head there in the frame again. Leave a comment if, uh, you know, you send a super chat in because 
if you have a question or whatever, I will most assuredly answer it. Or at least read your comment. Um, Jonathan Landis sent $50 and says, I hope all is going well for you and your birds. Are you going to feed the toucans dragon fruit again anytime soon? I have another dragon fruit. And I was planning on... Oh, maybe just jumped on the tripod. Planning on saving the dragon fruit for next stream for my birthday. My birthday is on April 1st. And we're going to stream for that because... You know, I don't have anything else to do now. <laughs> so I'll cut up the dragon fruit for that stream and we'll we'll give it to the birds again uh, for that one. So uh, I think that, what is that, Wednesday? Anyways. DD, holy crap. Um, unless I'm mistaken, this is 500 Canadian, which is... Uh, that, that's worth more than U.S. dollars, right? That's a lot of money, DD. I'm kind of speechless right now. Because we've had two super generous donations this stream. And, uh... Oh, everyone's freaking out in the chat. I missed the chat, probably because I was rambling for so long. But thank you so much. It's, uh... Wow. I mean, I know I say this every stream, but a specific... Maeve is like trying to turn the camera off or something, and I i don't know what she's doing. Maeve, come back over here. Come here. Okay, let me, um, I'm at a loss for words, because it's just, it's been a really rough couple of months for me, and uh, emotionally especially, and uh, <laughs> I'm trying not to laugh at Maeve, because she's, she's on top of the camera right now. But um, just all you guys' comments and, and just you being here to hang out with me, and especially next week on my birthday when I can't really be with anybody else, it's, it's just a huge blessing. And to see that people believe in us and what we're doing and want to see us succeed is just it's, uh, it's heartwarming. So but thank you so much. But let, let me try to translate what that is to U.S. dollars so I can update the bar real quick. Give me a second. Uh, okay, it's 350, well, rounding up, it's $356. So let's see how, what we need to add to the bar here. So we need to add all of the YouTube stuff Okay, here we go. Uh, we need to add like we'll we'll say four four hundred and seventy right now. Hold on a second. I need to go to the widgets. Donation goal. What what is our goal at right now? Okay, two. We'll just, we'll, we'll, well, I'm trying to think of what it is after YouTube takes their cut. So it's probably going to be around, we'll just say 500 for now. Wait, is it? Is that right? What's the total amount here? Sorry, guys. I'm trying to, I'm thinking to myself right now. Um, I think that's right. So we're like a very, we're almost to the top. Yeah, it's, so it's going to be 29, okay, 29.58. We'll just, we'll do that. Let me update it.
Oh, there it is. We're like $42 away. If that's how math works. I don't know. My math sucks, guys. I think, I think that's right, though. Okay. All right. We should be updated now. And it should. If you guys are doing through the Streamlabs and the... In the description, it'll automatically update, but I have to add in the YouTube donations specifically. So we need to add top top donators next stream too, so that everyone gets credit where it, it is due. But again, I cannot thank you guys enough. What else here? Just wow. DD. Thank you so much. Sorry it took me so long to figure all that out because I suck at math. I can do bird stuff. Math I cannot do. <laughs> if we keep this streak up, I mean, I can very feasibly move in summer and uh, get, hopefully get the enclosures and stuff that I need built out there as well. So... I can't, unfortunately, I can't do the nonprofit stuff right now, which sucks. Because uh, of everything going on with the Tom Hanks disease, I like those kind of things are shut down, and I just can't move. I can't even talk to the guy right now because I'm trying to talk to a lawyer to have them get all that figured out for me and, and see what it's going to cost and all that kind of stuff. But, uh, you know. We'll see with time, I guess. Well, we just got another big donation. Guys. Thaxnan. Tha Thaxnan? Hope I'm saying your name right. He sent $99.99. Oh, boy. Thaxnan, thank you so much. That is our goal right there. That's our goal for sure. So, even if we just added... We'll just say two or Tupac YouTube. YouTube takes what? What was it like thirty percent or something? So we'll say we'll just rent, we'll just say seventy bucks. We'll add seventy dollars here to the donation goal. I need to get caught up on the rest of you guys' comments too. And answer any of your questions about the nonprofit and moving and all that kind of stuff. What is it? Yeah, there we go. Oh, wait, I'm screwing this up. Hold on. There we go. Should be updated now. <sighs> I can't believe we made the goal. Today, when we started, I was like, well, not as many people are coming to this stream like they did last time. Because last time we had like seven or 800 people. And then we got these donations like we just got and made it. And uh, I, I'm kind of flabbergasted right now because I, I didn't think we were going to actually make it today, in all honesty. And I was I was kind of stressing out about it before the stream because I was like, well, that's okay, you know, it's not it's not a firm goal, you know. We can reset it. It's going to reset every month. It's a monthly goal, and uh, you know, to save up to move and all that kind of stuff. So even if we don't make it, you know, I can make up the difference myself and uh, put that in savings and sit on it, sit on it until the summer when all the virus stuff passes. But, if we can do this every month, we could be in a new place, you know, easily within the next six to eight months. Hopefully. Because it is going to be difficult for me to get a loan on the rest of the house because I'm self-employed. I'm a self-employed bird YouTuber. That doesn't really translate well to, hey, let me borrow some money. I'll pay you back with my bird YouTube revenue. <laughs> Unfortunately, most people don't take YouTube as a serious 
uh, profession. So we'll see what happens. Um, like I've said before, my my grandpa is a realtor around here. Uh, actually, a very good realtor. One of the I think he's the if he's not the biggest realtor around here, he's definitely one of the most well respected and best known. Um, but he knows a lot of people. He knows lenders and stuff that are. He's willing to help me out. Not only help me sell my house because he re- he's a realtor, but help me try to get a lender to, you know, invest in me. Even though it's my job is kind of uh, you know questionable. So not not that it's questionable. It's just like to a lender saying you're a YouTuber, especially when it's like oh I film birds on YouTube. When you describe what it is, it's kind of. Or I guess I could say I'm a bird rescue. Maybe that would be better. I think either way, being coming a nonprofit will look more professional to people like that, and will help me get a little further when I need to. Because I can sell this house, and then I'm saving money to add to the down payment, and hopefully I'll get the majority of the down payment of the house so that it the loan's minuscule compared to the rest, and then um, it'll be much easier for me to get a loan. So. That's the current plan, at least. But I still got to pay taxes. Of course, taxes are delayed now, which sucks. I don't even know how I'm going to get my tax lady to do them now because all this stuff going on. I guess I'll have to drop it off in her mailbox. But thank you guys so much. And we will get Beatrix out. Let me... um. I need to check the comments here. Uh, what happened here? Some, something happened? I saw someone was saying something happened to Laura. I'm trying to look in the comments here. I can't find it. Oh, she has a question? What's her question? I can't see. I don't know what her question is. I can't I can't find it. I have someone oh uh let's see. I see some of Laura's comments, but I don't see her original question. Everyone's telling me to answer her question. Oh, here we go. Uh, she says, do you have any suggestions on how to help with this? My 38-year-old daughter passed away. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. A few weeks ago, and her Conyer is still going crazy looking for her. Any ideas on what it will help? Wow. That breaks my heart, really. Um, I would, you know, I would... I would reach out to Jamie Lee from Bird Tricks, because she's far more qualified to answer a question about a conure than I would be. I don't know parrots that well. And especially I know, you know, the bird is mourning. I mean, the bird doesn't even understand what's going on, but it's mourning just like you are. Um, they, you know, obviously birds form very close bonds with people and other birds and their owners, and it's probably mourning much like you are. And my advice would be send Jamie Lee a message on Instagram and see if she can help you out uh, through on, or her bird tricks is her Instagram and see if she can help you out because I don't have I don't have a lot of experience with parrots so I couldn't really tell you how to exactly handle that situation because um, it sounds like the bird is devastated because it lost its friend and that sucks for the bird. And especially when you can't explain to the bird what happened. Um, I would definitely reach out to her and see if she can help you out. And if she doesn't answer, uh, contact me on Instagram, toucan.tv, just like the channel. And um, let me know and I'll, I'll, I'll text Jamie and tell her to, to reach out to you on Instagram. Uh, hopefully you have an Instagram. I know not everyone does, but if not, she probably has an email on her website, I imagine. So, but I'm so sorry to hear about that. It breaks my heart, and um, I hope you find the information you're looking for in the best way possible to help with 
the help with the conure. So, man, that sucks though. No other way to put it. You guys want me to raise the goal? I don't know if I'm going to raise the goal this time. Maybe next month. I mean, you guys can continue to send in super chats and stuff, and it still goes towards the total. But I don't know if I'm going to raise the goal this time because we we only have you know maybe an hour or two left on the stream, and that's it for this month, and then we'll start over in April. Uh, Beatrix is not named after Harry Potter. She is named after, excuse me, uh, Kill Bill. The movie Kill Bill. Everyone's telling me to go get Beatrix. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Cam Ruby says you could say, or they sent nine ninety nine and said you could say you're a toucan guidance counselor. Yeah, I guess you could say that. Hi, yes, I'm a toucan guidance counselor. Can I have a loan for a house? <laughs> I answered Laura's question, guys. We're cool. Well, to the best of my ability. Um, I'm going to go get Beatrix in a second. Uh, yeah, Marlene McCohen might be able to help you as well, Laura. I forgot to mention that. Any of the channels that deal more in rescued parrots and parrot behavioral issues and things like that would be way more qualified to help you than like I could I could maybe give you some idea, but it may not be accurate, and I don't feel comfortable uh, potentially spreading informa misinformation because I don't know about a particular thing. Uh, if it was a toucan, that would be a different story, but it's not a toucan, so. Uh, I haven't had parrots since I was a kid. <laughs> and when I was a kid, I didn't know very much about their behavior issues and, and nuances and things like that anyway. So let me go get Beatrix, though. Hold on. Give me a second. Maybe probably going to freak out now. It'll be all right, man. You. Don't worry. It's all right. Want a blueberry? Man, yeah, get off the camera. It's not bad. Look at this slinky bird. <laughs> she's like a little cat. When I pick her up, she's like a little cat. We'll give Beatrix a blueberry. There you go. You want some, Maeve? Oh, don't go after Tupac. He's not gonna be. He's not gonna be happy with you. 
Okay, yeah, take a big dump. That's great. Get two pocket blueberry. Hey, right. come on, guys. Okay, are you going to eat the blueberry? Maeve's going to eat your blueberry. There you go. Don't go fight with Tupac, okay? He will he will surely win. Trust me on that one. He's much bigger than you. <laughs> She's just throwing them on the floor out of spite now. All right, do you want a spite blueberry? <laughs> yeah, I know. She's weird, isn't she? She's not going to hurt you, though. Don't worry. Oh, God. Why are you regurgitating stuff? <laughs> All right, look at her tail feathers, guys. Look at... She had brand new tail feathers, and she's already jacked them up. Ugh. There you go. Hey, she's not going to hurt you, okay? Don't worry about her. <sighs> Beatrix is by far the most difficult animal I've had. She, every time I go to get her, she just panics. Or any time I go and try to pick her up or anything like that. She just completely panics and hurts her, like just breaks her feathers and all kinds of stuff. Hey, stop talking to her. She's not gonna, she's not gonna bother you, alright? Okay, let's check out the chats. Maeve is back to being on top of the camera again. You want another one? You gonna eat that one this time or are you gonna go throw it on the ground? There you go, eat it. Good job. Maeve, get off the camera. Uh, see, Tupac usually freaks out like this when she's out, too, which is another reason I try to minimize her interaction with all the other birds. I don't want her to get scared because he's freaking out. Stop. Uh, Kate Smith sent $3 and said, Happy early birthday. Have you have a, hope, hope you have a great year. Thank you, Kate. And uh, thank you for the early birthday wishes. Wait, did we get another? No, we didn't. Okay. I thought we had another 9, 99.99 chat, but I don't know. Hey, can you chill? Can you stop? Hey, get off there. Everyone's, everyone's shitting everywhere and making noise and pan panicking. And breaking things. Oh boy. Calm down, homie. Ow, stop. Does it hurt my ears when Tupac croaks next to you? Uh, yeah, a little bit. I wish he would stop, because it's not pleasant. <laughs> Can you stop that, please? Please stop. <sighs> Ow. Yeah, Maeve's not going to come anywhere near us now. She's just going to go perch on the freaking tripod. Maeve, stop. You're going to mess the whole screen up. Stop it.
Hey, calm down. Please. She's not gonna hurt you, alright? Um, my head's in the way. She will attack my head before she gets to you. Alright? Is that real? Is Tupac really loud for all you guys? I'm sorry. If, if you need me to turn it down, let me know. Mave, stop! Stop it! See, this is why I didn't want to have Matrix out all at the same time today, because it's a little chaotic when I'm trying to stream and have all three of them out at once. I gotta make sure nobody fights, and I gotta answer all your questions, and make sure the stream's entertaining to some extent, and that nobody gets hurt. And that Maeve doesn't break the camera in the meantime. Ah, hey. Trade places here a little bit and get it to work where nobody's freaking out. moved him. He's good now. It's okay. Calm down. Look, there's a blueberry he dropped. They're just gonna poop everywhere.
Okay, sorry guys. <sighs> Maybe this will work. We'll see. Uh, Maeve is off camera here. She's right here. Here, look. Come sit. In, come sit in Tupac's place. I know you like to be there when he's not here. Okay. Let me try to read any chats I missed. Um. Ray Ray Aria. Hope I'm saying that right. As asking, can two cans be potty trained? Um, yes, to an extent, but uh, you know they don't have the attention span for training very easily. So it's kind of questionable whether it's permanent or not, or is reliable. More like it. Sam Starr says, you are an amazing toucan dad. Thank you. I am trying my best. <laughs> hey, are you better now? Are you going to calm down? Are you just going to poop everywhere? Are you just going to throw blueberries on the ground? Out of spite? And Tupac's like in the foreground now. Hopefully that works for everybody. Okay, but thank you. I tried my best to be a good toucan dad. Uh, Miss Ghost says, I hope Beatrix settles soon. She doesn't know she is in the best place she can be. Brock, you're amazing, and I wish I could do more for you and the cans. Sending lots of love and support from SLC U Utah. Utah, right? UT? Thank you. I'm trying. I'm really trying my best. It's really. It's getting frustrating between dealing with personal stuff and uh, the birds all at the same time. Beatrix was kind of a handful even before I was about to have an emotional breakdown. But you know, hopefully with time it'll be rewarding. We'll see. Are you gonna calm down eventually? Don't, don't freak out. It's okay. See, you're perfectly fine coming to take food from me. I don't know why you think I'm going to hurt you. I'm not going to hurt you. If I was going to hurt you, you would have already been hurt by now. <laughs> I think, hopefully Mabel will stay away from the camera now that Tupac's a little closer to it. They usually practice some form of social distancing regardless of circumstance, so... Now you guys get to see my freaking skinny ass legs because I moved the camera down a little bit. Okay. Yeah, mate, that's pretty, pretty much a good summary of everybody. Maeve's gonna knock something down, Beatrix poops everywhere, and Tupac is just chilling. Um, Beatrix has the strong possibility of knocking things down too. She flies in, she flew into one of my plants the other day and knocked like the entire top part of it off. <laughs> She's freaking Tupac out by flying around. You want a blueberry, buddy? Let's see if you can catch. There you go. Let's see if we can keep throwing blueberries at him from here. Oh crap, that was a bad throw. My bad, buddy. Ready? Yeah, I'm, I'm about to go insane. Probably. Our, our viewership's actually going up now. I'm thinking, oh, maybe we'll end the stream here in an hour or so. And uh, the viewership's going back up. Probably because it's closer to five. 
well, five my time, but closer to when everybody gets home, everywhere else. Which I would figure most of you guys would be home already. Two o'clock. Don't, don't do that. We need that to talk to people. pooping great just put everyone poop everyone poop everywhere please let me make sure I didn't miss anything here uh, I think we're good maybe maybe we'll start winding the stream down we'll see what happens Maeve uh, she's back on the camera again. <laughs> Maybe stop. You guys are getting super frustrating, you know that? Not too fuck. But you and Beatrix are little troublemakers. Oh god. Let's see if anybody starts any trouble now. Um, I think we're good on Super Chats for now. I'm trying to see. I guess it probably would have been smarter for me to make the stream a little later because most of my audience is in California, I think. And it's only 3.30 there. Maeve, are you serious? <laughs> see how the camera's jerking around, shaking? Moving. Hey. Stop. Stop. Please stop. Please just make things easy for me once. Maybe I can try to get these little arms down so she can't. Just to give up and start a GoFundMe for a new camera now. Yeah, I know. I'm going to have to use all this money for a camera now. She's going to break it any any second. Are you going to break the camera? You guys got to stop. She's over on that shelf over there. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. I should move the camera over a little bit. Maeve. Ugh. I'm sure you guys are finding this very entertaining. Somebody please kill me. Maeve, are you serious? I put the little arms down. Okay, she flew off. Good lord. Um... Yeah, Maeve likes to fly. Sorry, guys. I'm like... Uh, I don't know if I'm stressed out or just... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's almost... I mean, it's just everything lately. Between the bird... or Mainly just Beatrix has been stressful to me because it's like... You're trying your best to help her, and she's just continuing, like her feather, like her tail feathers right now just look horrible. 
And, uh, you know, I'm trying my absolute best to get her back to normal. And it's just like, I'm sorry. I'm looking, I'm, when I'm looking over here, I'm looking up at my TV and I'm watching her on the screen so that I don't have to turn like that. But Beatrix has just been crazy. Like, I can't, I can't imagine doing all this with different birds for, without help in the future. I'm not sure. Uh, toucans are just a whole crazy thing. And, um, my, I had help not long ago and I lost that help well it was some help at least not like somebody living here and helping me take care of them but she was a help and um I don't know it would be it would definitely be easier it would, I mean not easier easier but like more what am I trying to say And she just regurgitated a blueberry. If they were more like Maeve or Tupac, it would be a lot easier. But these the birds that act semi wild and want to just bite the piss out of you constantly and just not trust anything is is when it comes to toucans is just very uh, disheartening. It makes you it makes you feel like uh, you know you've gone through all this effort to help them and it it doesn't mean anything to them. I guess I don't know. I love her to death, and I'm going to do everything I can for her, obviously. And we'll get her back to health at some point. But, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a huge mental strain for one man in a house confined to himself and his own insanity <laughs> right now. You want one? Come here. Maeve, what are you doing? Maeve is digging... She's digging papers out of my... I have a filing thing up there that I keep files in for taxes and stuff. And she's digging through the hole in it to rip paper out of it. She's ripping all the tax paper out of the thing. Oh, boy. All right, let's see what you guys have to say. <laughs> Someone said you look a little dead inside. Um, sometimes I feel dead inside. I'm not, though. But it's been it's been a stressful month, that's for sure. Why is Beatrix's mouth open for so long? Because she is stressed out and she is gaping because she's anxious. Which I can I, I can empathize with the anxiety there, little one. Let's hope Maeve doesn't rip my taxes up. When they get audited, and then I'm gonna be like, "Oh no, you don't understand. The, uh, the bird ripped up all my uh, proof of purchases." She's had trauma of rock. It'll take a bit longer. Yeah, I've had trauma too, so I can empathize with her. <laughs> Everyone is everyone enjoying close up Tupac? He's like, well, he's like out of frame now because he's kind of squatted down. Are you guys? You don't want to come anywhere near over here when Beatrix is over here, do you, Maeve? She's all the way over on the couch again. You know, any other time that she's out, she's always on this perch back here. But then when I'm recording, she just decides to go everywhere else in the house that's not behind me, like in frame.
Tupac looking thick. Tupac is a thick boy. I think he's enjoying his moment of foreground stardom here. Maeve, oh my goodness. Maeve is giving me anxiety, just hopping around everywhere, knocking things over. You guys are crazy. Man, okay, well, well, we're gonna, I guess we're gonna wrap the stream up here pretty quick. We're gonna have another one here in Wednesday. What is it, Wednesday? Let's see. Yeah, Wednesday, April 1st is on Wednesday, I believe. Yeah. So, April 1st is my birthday. And we're going to stream on my birthday. So the next stream will be on Wednesday, April 1st, next week. Uh, for those of you wondering. And that stream has almost going on, gone on here for three hours. So let's, let's go ahead and get the last, any last chats or anything, super chats, uh, Streamlabs stuff, questions, comments, anything like that for the next 15 minutes or so. And then uh, we're going to wrap the stream up. So, uh, did you enjoy that poop, Tupac? I'm glad you liked that. And then I'm going to have to clean up all the poo-poo. And um, think about what video I'm going to film for this week. before the uh, We'll have another video before the next stream. Like a normal video. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I think I have... Uh, I got a floppy banana thing. That's like a squish. It looks like a banana, but it's squishy. And I want to see how they react to it because it looks just like a banana but it's squishy but um let's get the let's get our last chats and everything in here and then we will bid you adieu until next time tupac is a chonker he's not obese though thankfully but he is pretty big. He's a little blurry. Well, if it focused on Tupac, I would be out of focus. So it's probably prioritizing my face over anything else on the camera. Maeve, you want to come see everybody? We're about to end. Hey. <laughs> Maeve. Maeve. Hey, look. Yeah, okay, that got your attention. Come on. Come here. You want this? Well, Tupac wants it. You want one, Beatrix? <laughs> Acting so freaking cautious about it, and it's like, I don't know why she's doing that, because it's like she's never, nobody's ever hurt you. Well, that's what I haven't heard her at least. I don't know about anybody else, but all right, we got one super chat here. Let's check it out. Uh, Connor Mc, Bleh. always get tongue twisted there. Connor McMenemy. Again, good to see you, Connor. Says everyone's here for you, Brock. One thing at a time. How come Maeve doesn't fly off? Scratch the pot for me. Why? How come she doesn't fly off? Um, do you mean like outside or like in here or what? She, I don't take her outside um, off of a harness or out of an enclosure because I don't want the wind to pick her up and I don't want any birds of prey coming after her or anything. So, but I don't, I don't, I don't suspect she would try to fly off even if I took her outside fully flighted, but I don't want to take a risk of her getting lost and, or getting hurt. So it's just best that I keep her on a harness or in an enclosure. And when I move, I'm going to build a flight out there that she can, she's preening right now. I need to have, I need to have two cameras I can switch between so you guys can see her over here too. Like a little button I can click back and forth. Camera one, camera two. But, um, what am I trying to say? I don't suspect she would fly off if I had her outside, but you never know. And usually it's not intentional, you know? They don't want to, like, 
leave their flock or anything or fly away from who they consider their flock but that they don't know how to fly outside like it's just not the same as flying indoors toucans aren't skilled flyers to begin with let alone you know house toucans that haven't had any experience actually flying in weather so Do I plan to have a huge aviary in Texas? Uh, I'd like to have a fairly big one, yeah. Somewhere near Dallas. It would be nice to have a place where you guys could come and visit the birds if you wanted to. Um, especially like people on Patreon. But uh, it's going to take time for me to... Maeve, what are you doing? Can you stop playing with chords? <sighs> Um, it's going to just take time for me to build up a place where I can welcome visitors easily. Uh, this place is not that place at all. This, this is a terrible place for any sort of animal rescue where I am now. So, Maeve! Good lord, Maeve. You are naughty today. But we will get there. And we'll, we'll make it happen. And that's part of what the goals here on the streams are for. Um, I'm of course saving my own earned money like through ad revenue as well, but um, building up a little extra money to save through live streams is certainly going to be helpful in the long run to purchase another house. And what I mean, I can't imagine that a building an aviary or any sort of flight is gonna be cheap, you know? We'll probably, we'll start small with birds and then when I when the channel gets bigger, we'll, we'll expand a little bit more where we can handle more birds outdoors. But, um, you know, we got to take it one step at a time. We'll grow. The, the amount of birds that I can handle will grow along with the channel and along with... That's kind of part of the reason we need a place to invest in because then that place can grow along with the channel as well. And we can get new enclosures outside and stuff like that because they really need uh, sunlight I think it's really important for their health to be getting sunlight constantly, which is something they don't get a lot of right now, and I feel very guilty about, because they really do need it. So, And you can really tell when a bird, or when a toucan specifically, uh, gets a lot of time outside, because their colors really brighten up and they just pop. So, And they just look healthier and happier. And they're birds they deserve to be outside they should be outside they should be able to have something as close to you know what they would have in the wild as possible that's what i would want so maybe we'll do like one of those i was kind of thinking maybe um you know like in florida when they have those big uh screen like screened in areas around the pools you know what i'm talking about like in florida i was thinking about doing that but, I mean, I wouldn't have a pool. It would just be like a big outdoor screened area with trees and all kinds of stuff. And plenty of space where I can just like let the birds outside every day. Like Tupac, Maeve, Beatrix, they can go outside and enjoy being outside every day. And um, have plenty of space to fly around with and play and do whatever they need to do. And then I can go out there as well and hang out with them and, you know, it'll be like a many many rainforests for them to live in and then for other birds that may not um necessarily have the social skills of of even beatrix because i mean beatrix is a little did you just throw up a blueberry and throw it on the ground really uh beatrix may not have the social skills she should have but she's still not completely wild but if we had like a completely wild toucan we would have to keep it outside in a large enclosure that it would just be there to live its life you know solitarily or whatever might be best to accommodate it so turd ferguson says turd ferguson like um celebrity jeopardy uh norm mcdonald as Turd Ferguson, Burt Reynolds. Um, hello from Long Island. I love toucans now. Well, thank you for loving toucans, and thank you for being from Long Island because I love your drink. <laughs> I 
a Florida day room. Is that what it's called? I don't know what it's called, but I know it's like it's a huge area just screened all around the pool. Um, it's not a screened-in porch. It's it's a lot bigger than that. It would be like a giant aviary, and then it, we could I could actually plant inside of it and have you know water, maybe a little fountain or something like that, or I don't know. We'll see what happens. But that would be my fir the first goal would to be have have a big area like that that just these birds can go out and be outside in. And then the second goal would be to add it to it later to have more wild birds that just strictly live outside and aren't, you know, socialized to humans. They can live in an environment like that. And then at that point, it would be easier for me to take or have tours and stuff where people like you guys can come and tour the area and see maybe we can have – examples from multiple different species of toucans for people to see and learn about them and stuff like that and we'll we'll just see what the future holds you know maybe we can have a little breeding set up in the future and breed toucans for zoos and stuff like that or rehabilitate toucans for use as animal ambassadors or in zoos because i'm not opposed i'm not completely opposed to breeding toucans as long as um, they're strictly going to zoos and educational places and not pets. So, Maeve, Maeve is being crazy right now. Why do you gotta be so cautious about getting that? It would be so much fun to have Beatrix and Maeve out if they were both behaving like Maeve, like they're both friendly and curious. So I really hope one day Beatrix will warm up to being a normal friendly toucan. Hopefully. Are you going to be friendly one day? Or are you going to always try to murder me? That wouldn't be fun. We want, we want you to be a normal, functioning member of society, okay? <laughs> uh, does Beatrix like to play with toys? I don't... Th I haven't seen her play with any toys, really. She's too nervous and scared when she's out to play with any toys. Maeve is like... I really need, like, another camera following her around strictly because she's all over the place right now, getting into trouble. Excuse me. What else do we got here? A Florida room. Is that what it's called? I don't know. What, what is Maeve doing? Well, right now she's actually just eating pellets, but she was knocking stuff off the shelves over here. And the, there's like a little lamp with some shelves on it over here. And she's constantly trying to fly onto shelves, and then she will go around on the shelves and throw things off of it. So, which is not fun. Are you still thinking of working on toucan plushies? Yes, I'd love to have toucan plushies of... All the birds, like, have a, Ma a Maeve plush, Tupac plush, Beatrix plush. But uh, we don't have the viewership to, to justify that sort of thing right now. So the channel's still relatively small. And when we start getting closer to, like, maybe a million subscribers or more, then it would be much more reasonable to get that done. I actually have contacted companies about doing it, and they just said, basically, we're not big enough right now. So come back when you are so um we need more viewership to get to that sort of level like to get past just traditional merch where it's just t-shirts we need to have more viewership unfortunately hey you want this and we have very generous and great subscribers and viewers right now but we don't have anywhere near what what would be considered the big YouTube channels that are making that big YouTube money would have. And you know, maybe that might happen one day, I don't know. If it doesn't, you know, I'm not 
I don't really care about that kind of stuff as long as I can make a living, a decent living with the birds and that they're healthy and happy. That's all I really care about. And that I'm not in debt and, you know, if I can live relatively comfortably on a lower income, I'm fine with that as long as the birds are healthy and happy and have what they need. So, you want this? Jeez, so violent. Oh, man. Well, it is almost 6 o'clock. I think that that's about time. I guess it's about time to wrap everything up. Toucan is also pooping a lot that you guys don't see. How long do I think it'll take to get Beatrix to relax? Um, I don't know. My friend Dana told me that she has she had an aerosary that behaved similarly to Beatrix, and it took her a few months, like six months, I think, or so, for her to really settle down and be good. So uh, Beatrix is probably it's probably going to be quite a few months before she actually starts to settle down. I think the best thing to do for her is just to have her in a space around us and to get used to seeing us and know that she's safe and nobody's going to hurt her when she's out here. I'm not going to hurt her. You know, the other birds aren't going to hurt her. So, um, and then just continue to feed her like I've been doing by hand so that she just learns that I'm a friend to her. So, it'll take time. Uh, Baby's back there on my guitar. You guys see her? Nope, not that side, this side. She's going to poop on my guitar now, probably. But I think that's about it, guys. I think we're about time to wrap the stream up. I know I'm getting tired. Um, I know it's only 6 p.m., but... Uh, we will be back Wednesday. So everyone come here and meet Wednesday. We might do the stream a little later next time. Maybe closer to 5 p.m., 5 or 6 p.m. Central. Like around this time, maybe. But you guys will get the schedule thing well in advance. Uh, you know, a day in advance like you did for this one. You'll know what time it is going to be. And, uh, you know, I'm going to announce it on Instagram, of course, and all that good stuff. So uh, keep an eye out this weekend. We'll, we'll do another video. Um, what else is there to say with that? So check out the new video when it comes out. I'll probably put it out saturday or sunday and i'll i will probably film and edit it tomorrow i imagine so um but thanks so much for joining me guys and thanks so much for helping us reach the goal that's even more incredible uh the goal will restart on april 1st uh, it's a monthly goal if we can hit the monthly goal for well it should only take a few months maybe six months or so Wait, what is that? Yeah, maybe around six months or so. It's going to help exponentially with us moving and getting a new place and getting those flights and stuff so you guys can finally come meet the birds at some point in the future. And they can have a healthier and happier, healthier and happier life. Oh, I can too. <laughs> that would be nice for me to get out of here too because it will improve my quality of life as well. But it'll it's, it's beneficial to all of us, so... Uh, but I thank you guys for believing in me and for hanging out with me. And, uh, you know, what else can I say? But uh, we will see you very soon in the next week. It's not even a week. It's Wednesday, so less than a week. And um, we will see you next time. So, Maeve, um, i got to get Maeve out of trouble and get everyone fed. And we'll see you next week. So, bye for now, everybody. Oh, there goes Beatrice, jumping onto the shelf. That's, that's the sign there. <laughs> it's time to wrap up. All right, I'm going to go deal with her and everything, and we'll see you guys soon.